My name is Jeff Neely and I'm a youth speaker. You know, at school I was bullied, I was made fun of constantly. At home my mom was both emotionally and physically abusive towards me. One of my biggest struggles in my life was probably my real dad leaving. That was really, really hard for me. I've always had a problem with being bullied in school, so that really resonated with me up until now. Um, so really the kids out there that seem like they're different, um, I found find courage because I take myself and I say, you know, if somebody would have spoke up for me, for me. Um, wherever I was, whether it was school or, or home, I was out of control. I just, I have ADHD, OCD, anxiety, and over a period of time in my life, you know, I was given all sorts of different meds, and now as someone that's worked in the social work field, I know what these things do, whereas, you know, when I was a kid, I had no idea what was being put into my body. I have ADHD and uh, I think a tiny bit of autism, and uh, that was that was really hard for me. But I, it was a, I'm, sometimes I think I was the only one in the world with it. I used to think when I was a kid, it was like, and back then I didn't have my meds, so it was really hard. I felt alone, neglected, hurt. Um, I didn't feel like I had a place in the world, so I started having suicidal thoughts. Um, my life just didn't feel right. I remember when I was 19 years old, um, we got in this fight and my mom called the police. I remember thinking in that moment, like, what is going to happen to me right now? Like, I have all these dreams and goals and it's just like going to go away in an instant because I'm going to get locked up and, and it's going to be gone. From that point forward, um, everything really changed. I surrendered all that anger and um, just decided I was going to start fresh. I learned that I am not a hurtful person and that I can, I don't have to be angry all the time. And I can, I can be like a good person. And I really find voice in speaking up for those who can't or don't speak up for, those, for themselves. Um, it's a passion for me now that since nobody never did it for me, I can do it for everybody else. I'll never forget the first night I shared my story, all these kids came up and they like surrounded me. And they're like, oh dude, I related with this and this really impacted me and this was so deep, I can't believe that we both went through that. I was like so shocked. I never thought in my life that my story could impact somebody like that. I didn't think that my story really mattered. One of the biggest things that made a difference in my life is that adult, that social worker, giving me an opportunity to get in front of a group and share my story. There was one thing I would, could say to the mentors in my life that helped me out. I would just say thank you for pushing me. Thank you for hanging in there when it got tough and when I was resistant, when I pushed you away. Well, the, one of the things I haven't said enough is just thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. You were the only one who believed in me. What I tell young people today is, sometimes in a moment of pain, you find your potential. In other words, you're in a rough situation and you find out what you're really made of. And when you get out the other side of that, you actually have something that you can use to change your life and other people's lives.